Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. I'm down by the beautiful Naples City Fishing Pier. Sunday morning, 8.30, 70 degrees, beautiful blue sky. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Had a nice little walk on the pier this morning, unfortunately. Again, this morning I wasn't able to save that video to share on YouTube. So I'm making a, another video just for our Instagram and YouTube friends to let them enjoy this beautiful experience. that sky. We didn't see any dolphins this morning at the pier. No dolphins. Fishermen really weren't catching much of anything. Some lizard fish. Nothing worth keeping. It's just a very quiet morning out here. Quiet but beautiful. We keep walking down the beach here for a little while. We did see a pelican get caught up in some fishing line this morning on the pier. Fortunately, there was someone there to get it untangled and release it. Happens a lot here. The pelicans and the seagulls getting caught up in the fishermen's lines. Fortunately, there's some great volunteers out here to deal with it. friend Roy sitting up there on the pier enjoying the sights and sounds doing some people watching he's gonna be 96 years old next Sunday Roy he's turning 96 that is awesome Sky is just gorgeous. We'll go under the pier. The 1,000 foot long Naples Pier. Originally built back in 1888. This was the center of town. This was a freight and passenger dock back then. This is where people would come into Naples. Freight, mail, there was a post office down here at the end of the pier, a hotel. And this is where it all happened. Since 1888, the pier has undergone quite a few renovations. Caught on fire, it's gone through some hurricanes pretty much devastated by a fire and a hurricane. I think, don't quote me here, but I think this is about the sixth generation now of the pier, with all the refurbs and everything. What kind was it? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Something to keep in mind, if you visit here, you do not need a fishing license to fish from the Naples Pier. No fishing license required on the Naples Pier. 
Everywhere else in Florida, you need a Florida fishing license, but not here at the Naples Pier. The city of Naples has a blanket license that covers everyone on the pier, so thank you for doing that, city of Naples. Water's looking good here. Looking good, smelling good. Not seeing or smelling any signs of red tide down here. There is red tide up to the north, up in North Naples. I hope you enjoyed this short little stroll here. Sorry I couldn't share this morning's beach walk. You'll have to get on Facebook if you want to watch that. I don't know what's going on with that deal. But I'm not going to leave you guys out there on YouTube and Instagram hanging. I'll try to do a little separate video like this for you until we figure out what that problem was. Look back at the pier. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. The palm trees and the beachfront homes over here. Some of the smaller beachfront homes. beautiful. Hey, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day or evening, whatever time it is, wherever you're watching from. Stay safe. Stay safe. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.